Bruno no, Ginger no, Kai. Yep. Hello, hello, hello. So it is. When is today? Today is Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's a Tuesday evening. Ah uh ah, -uh, Hunter, no, no. Go play with Bruno, please. I want to just show you the sunset from over here. So just brace yourself. Sunset over there. We are cleaning stuff on that side because we set up, we managed to set up our washing machine. We got um, a plumber and, uh, and an electrician to just come and do um, what's it called? <laughs> the necessary. So, this is the room. It's like a, it's supposed to be like an outside shower. So, it already had this. We had this plug and some wires so we had someone just come fix it up so we have the this is supposed to be for the shower then this one we just use it out here for for other things the first time actually they even carry this like the first week we really wanted to we really needed to clean clothes and stuff so we shikanishad like five extensions from our bedroom because now this is our bedroom over here this room hi Joey look it's Joey so they have this window where they sneak out of so this is our room so we had from this window we had like five extensions going that way so that we were able to clean we sort of managed with the whole internet thing sort of because um, I'm still testing out let me show you so we got this uh, this Wi-Fi router thing we're currently using a telecom card we're using telecom as our main internet for now so we are testing we are testing our telecom airtel and safaricom to see which one is the strongest which one because they are all just like 4g networks whatever so i want to see which one is the best and the strongest especially for uploads so uh, for uploading i've literally been tethering from my phone and sometimes it depends on the time there's times where tethering works very well it varies depending on the time of day so there's, there's times where it's like really strong and very fast. I remember there's a day I uploaded a video in like 10 minutes and there's also yesterday where I uploaded video in like two hours. And I cleaned a lot of clothes. But now I'm like, I have to fold them. I'm like, how is it that we still do not have self-folding clothes? Or like a machine that just folds your clothes for you. You just throw them in there, it does a thing. And then you just take them out. You know, like a Marie Kondo thing. Like, the machine should be called like the Marie Kondo or something. <laughs> you guys are on top of a cup right now. Let me find out if anyone's bringing us dinner or if these people expect me to cook. Let me start with rain. <laughs> cause I don't even know, cause we can do pasta. Oh, we're out of nyanyas. Okay. And then, Hi. Oh, so I wanted to ask, what are you having for dinner today? I want to set up a mosque party. Hey, hey, Ati, you thought what? Ah, oh, you can't see me, but just well, it's the ambiance. Tomorrow I am going to be recording a podcast. Uh, I'm going to be a guest on my friend's podcast, Wamathai. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. I also have to pick up. Um, I have to pick up some stuff and come home with it and I'm hoping to get my nails done my nails look really nasty I'm hoping to get them done tomorrow as well and then the day after tomorrow we are meeting we're supposed to meet with our contractor but I'm supposed to confirm tomorrow so anyway I think this will be a fruitful week last week I was very busy as well because we were trying to settle in to this house and then um, my friend was opening her shop so we were trying to finish her shop I'll show you some clips and tell you where it is that you can go buy from her and also you can buy online and have them delivered to you they're fresh vegetables your vegetables and fruits okay good morning so I am it's what it's 9 41 in the morning i've had my tea 
I woke up at like um, seven something. So um, on a shower and then head out. But then I feel like I don't. Want um okay so a friend just told me that they have a relative who's looking for blood and they happen to be the same blood type so i want to go donate blood um for them so it's like 9 42 then the podcast thing is supposed to happen from one okay let me just do a quick shower i'll see you once um showered and made up and all that i'm just gonna do like a light simple everyday look type thing and then we can head out hey so i'm ready to leave the house my cab must be here hello i got an uber how amazing is that my our our usual um cab driver is not around he was far away so i'm heading out i don't think i want to carry my camera I my cab is sort of got lost kidogo i think he took the wrong turn i think i just saw him yes Ah, uh, so he's here. I just saw him. So now I'm going. So, sir, so. I, mean, I found all this on the ground. I had I ate one, so I'm picking the rest that are already ripening, so we can just have them in the house. Cause then there's like a bunch down here that have already ripened and fallen, and now they're like rotten. They can't be eaten because uh, so like this so they fall and then yeah Ugh, there's so many so I just I'm just going to pick the ones that are like ripe before they end up again falling Ugh. um the day before yesterday yesterday I was cleaning I spent the day cleaning the house because um, I was around and we've not been around for a couple of days so there's clothes that I'd cleaned that needed to be folded so I folded them and then cleaned the house. I had to remove the carpets for cleaning and then um, the other day when I was going for the podcast, the podcast didn't happen. Um, I had gone like all the way. I was in Westlands. <laughs> I was in Westlands when I received the call to be told that they are postponing so that happened um then went to donate blood they refused my blood they said that i am i don't qualify to donate blood because i'm 49 kgs and i have to be over 50 um to donate the last time i donated blood i was in campus and then i remember i got i, I fainted and got sick after that so those guys weren't willing to take the chance. They were like, yeah, it's just one kg, but that one kg can make the whole difference. So I called my sister and then she came to donate blood because we're the same blood group because they were looking for O positive. Today, I want to edit and shoot. I want to shoot two videos. I want to shoot some content for IGTV. And then I also want to shoot... Um, I also want to take some photos. We are from Peking. Ah. We took a pick time for a shamba. Kesho to nafanya farmers market. I know, right? Uh, ni farmers market. Flea market. Flea market. Okay, kwendo uko. I don't know why like, we know farmer. Tomorrow we're doing the Nairobi flea market, so we had gone to pick up time. Na ku pick time. Na tuko na pita koyo farmer. Mwenye ni disappointing tena sana. Yeah, I hope at our naive video ajue. I'm very disappointed in him as a farmer. We're tired. Also. Just, hey, I love to look. That's like a flower farm. Look on your that stuff. Yep. That is a flower farm all and the way over there. Flowers. That's where people get flowers from. As we've yeah. never gotten flowers. Chanza kuchukua. Chanza But I'm not going to get it. I'm I finished filming my video. Can I just lift you? So I've finished filming the video. I've only been able to do one. And I really wanted to have this guy in the background because I was using my 
my 70D with a 50mm because I really wanted that pretty bulky but with a car. It didn't work because I was doing um, an IGTV video so everything just filled up the screen and I was like it's fine because like, you can still see the really cool bokeh effect on the on this fence thing oh there's been a new okay maybe we can just sit down there's um the there's what there's like a new messaging about the panoramic um where people are not allowed to move around and such like i just received it on whatsapp in one of my groups um where apparently there's not going to be movement between counties um like oh crap so that means that we can't we're not going for the um, we're not gonna do the flea market tomorrow because now that's like a meeting it's supposed to happen in a hotel now hotels have been closed down so we have decided because like rain had already put in um, the orders and everything for the stuff for tomorrow so we're planning to do like an online thing like we'll do like an online sale of sorts uh, where we can just sell stuff and whatever and do like an online drive because she already has the products and they were meant for tomorrow and now tomorrow is not happening hey how are you it's Monday uh, Monday morning yesterday I didn't film much I think I filmed something in the evening when I was trying to clean up the room because yesterday rain and I decided we we're going to rest we've not rested I think since the beginning of um, since Feb because Feb is when we we're planning the whole move thing and we were doing her shop and we were also um, planning the move I wasn't making over the house we were doing the shop so like we were really exhausted up this morning and I was like wow I really needed that like I didn't notice that I really needed to rest because it's just been like pa 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 so here we are Still yawning. With a right of reason. So I'm editing right now and then I think I'll take you through whatever else happens. Um Hey So it's Tuesday and we've just left. It's been raining. It yeah. started raining Jana like at night and then this morning it was raining. So we have business in Nairobi. Kama <laughs> <laughs> sauce. Like I own the company. But it's cause like because of the Nini. We needed to do some print work this morning. We had to set up ah Coco I know. Coco, where are you coming from? Where are you seeing Coco? Sindole. You can't see her. So we are going to Nairobi. Uh, I have to go pick up some thingies. I'm setting up something. I'll tell you about it when we get there. Uh, we are hoping for the best. Hey, Coco. No, no. No, Coco. Stop. Then God come in. How can you feel? How can you notice? I was just like, please, no! Ah, yeah. So now, we are wearing, we are sort of like, this is the look we've gone for. <laughs> I have... So... Yeah. <laughs> I have lookbook. a jacket. This is a lookbook. I have a sweater. Rustic nini. <laughs> it has paint on it. Rustic. I have, these are those like double whatever pants. It has the inside thingy. Layered. So mm -hmm. they, yeah, they're double layered. Very warm. And then I was like, oh, look at me being girly. I wore some boots. Also, because my other work boots are kind of spoiled. So these are the only other boots that I could wear because the other ones are hiking boots. And I was like, it would be weird <laughs> if I wore my hiking boots. Nasipaki at rangi. So it's like, we can be dressy. Yeah, but then if I wore the other sweater, it would have been, I would have looked a lot cuter. It's so turned in a mess, kill like you too. At his bag top in this cold. Ha ha! You may be gloves. The brown.
So we are about to spray paint. We have like this cute vase. If you want one, go to Carrefour. Carrefour, they are selling this one. And then we have this cute, I don't know if you guys remember this. Used it in the office, so we're also going to spray paint this yellow because our set is yellow. So you have to remember to do this because it's on the inside. And then this handle because it's the only other thing that will be seen. So that's what we are doing. And then my helper is over there. You'll see her later. <laughs> I've been waiting all night Watch you blow a mile Please don't come over Cause you're not sober Yeah Now you know that ain't right If you do knew you was coming over That would be a problem yeah. If our friends knew undercover love and they would try to solve it, solve it, yeah. Good morning. I just got out of bed. I woke up about an hour ago and I was in bed listening to um, a podcast. And um, I want to make breakfast. So I'm the only one who's home today. Everyone's left. Hi, Ziggy. What are you doing there? So I want to make um, something I've not made before. I wanted to like, I wanted to do something that's like oatmeal ish, but not oatmeal per se. I want to dry the oats and then throw in stuff and eat that with yogurt. So I want to do that. I want to roast rather, toast the yogurts. Yogurts. <laughs> the oats. I didn't sleep well last night. I haven't even made our bed. And you see, I haven't done the curtains. I want to just do this and then clean up. Um, cause we have some dishes that need cleaning and then I'll sit down. Um, I need to edit and I also want to film today. So I want to eat and then plan that out. Um, I want to do a proposal. I want to make some calls. I have a full day ahead. This battery is dying. I had my breakfast. I got preoccupied when I did my, when I was cooking, when I was toasting, that's the word, when I was toasting the, the ninis, <laughs> wow, it's like I can't speak. When I was toasting the oats, I got a bit, uh -uh, I got a, a little preoccupied and they burnt. So I did another batch and then stood there and waited um, for them to heat up. Also, because I think I put too much, too much heat. Um, so I'm sitting down to do a bit of editing and plan a shoot that I want to do later today. Actually, I think I should have even started with that shoot because I'm not, I'm not doing like my makeup or anything at all. I'm not having. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I've not been having a great week. Um, there's been a lot happening. And a lot of stuff is triggering. Let's start there. Oh. Hey. Uh, it's me again. My right eye is the one eye that I have that doesn't function well. Okay, wait. I have two eyes. My right eye is my weakest eye. It's the li weakest link. So I had mentioned that I was making, um, I made rather, I mentioned that I had made oats in the morning and actually I wanted us to go outside. And I ended up burning them because I got sidetracked. The problem is every time I walk into the kitchen, I feel like it smells like burnt oats. So I want to make the house smell nice. And I have orange over here um this is an orange that's almost going bad so i want to use this and some rosemary because there's a fresh rosemary hub garden outside rosemary garden outside i want to pick some some twigs we're going outside let's just so we are going to pick some rosemary and then we're going to do like a rosemary and orange infused um bath 
bath <laughs> like boil we're gonna bring it to a boil so that the kitchen stops smelling like burnt oats okay so this is our friend's garden I'm here to steal I'm only gonna steal like probably two um, this is our friend's garden Oof. Bruno we're not going uh, Bruno thought we were going somewhere sorry baby come back can you hear the wind I really enjoy it. okay right now because I was wearing headphones because I was wearing headphones I feel like my ears are like squished but I really love the sound of the wind I want to just cut this into like this size of because I want to put them in a, in a sufferia because I want to make sure that they you just bring them to a boil with water I think this one needs to, okay cinnamon just like that boiling the cinnamon will integrate to kondani with the water but for now it's just sitting on top because the water is cold okay so just leave it to do the thing and then I'm gonna close this window so that it contains the because there's wind that blows from here so that it contains the this scent because we're trying to eliminate the other scent if that makes sense um yeah so i'll just leave that there but i have to keep remembering that i have something on the stove and i hate how like every single time these things happen as women or as women who are mostly vocal we're expected to teach to use our voice to teach and mostly it's to teach men to educate men on oh this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong i'm like literally no one had to tell me that throwing someone off a building is wrong i know it's wrong and if someone can justify that then i don't think there's much training or education that can assist them so i hate that our bodies and our voices are used to mostly um what's the word to not justify but like to sort of be like okay i get you don't get it but i'm gonna tell you what it is and i'm not okay with that i'm not okay with us being used in that form because it's not our job you get like it's not our job to educate you on us being treated as human beings it's basically all we ask for we're just saying treat us like human beings we're not asking for special treatment we're not asking for favors we're saying hi i am a human being and i want to be treated as such i am not a lesser being because i'm a woman i shouldn't be treated any different because i'm a woman i want to be just treated as a like just the w anything you don't want to happen to you as a man i don't want to happen to me either so if you don't want to go on a date and be killed i don't want to go on a date and be killed if you don't want someone to throw you off a building because you're not in the mood for sex i don't want to be thrown off a, a building because i'm not in the mood for sex if you don't want some stranger just coming and kissing you i don't want a stranger coming and kissing me if you don't want strangers grabbing your junk when you're walking the street i don't want strangers grabbing my boobs or my butt when i'm walking down the street what is so hard about this there's literally nothing hard about understanding this but people want to play ignorant and say oh it's just the information that I don't have and even when people keep telling you what is wrong and how it's wrong you delete their messages you try and invalidate them and you keep saying oh it's a feminist agenda or this or that you keep invalidating what people tell you but you still want those people to come and teach you uh -uh. like I'm like women's bodies are not a classroom for you to come and train yourself on matters about life it's just like just think of it that way and there's someone who said men understand consent they just pretend and I completely believe that because a man will get pissed off the moment you pick up their phone because they didn't let you they didn't give you permission but they don't understand when I say don't touch me right because they think that they are allowed to do whatever when it comes to women they think that they have their rights and their power right 
to do as they please with a woman's body regardless of who this woman is and there's one thing let me tell you if there's one thing i hate and i need to urge more women to stop using this phrase stop reminding men that they are related to women because they shouldn't have to be related to women to see their value in us don't do that thing i really find it invalidating in terms of um the fact that you have to see me as your sister you have to see me as your mother you have to see me as your daughter you have to see me as your wife you have to see me as your cousins and whatnot for me to matter and for what i'm saying to matter that's bullshit that is complete bs because i matter because i'm a human being that's it that's all that matters i am a freaking human being just like you that's it so that thing for oh guys you know you have sisters oh you have like the moment someone says that i honestly just block anything else you're going to say because i'm like no that's not how we're going to handle this we d i don't want you to see me as your sister i don't want you to see me as your mother i don't want you to see me as your daughter i want you to see me as a fucking human being that's it and i feel like i've ended up just doing the video <laughs> without having to do the video. It's just gonna be like a completely different thing. <sighs> that was good. That was good. I feel better in a way. So, I wanna do, oh, I can already, I might eat my hands. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I can smell the cinnamon. Ooh, a mix of cinnamon and nutmeg. Heavenly. Nutmeg in storage, so that's okay. Yeah, I love it. Mmm.